Once I decided to refocus this channel around collecting and hobbies and things like that, it was only a matter of time before my mind drifted towards trying to get back in touch with the very first things I collected as a kid. The 1989 Batman trading cards that were uh, released as part of the promotion for the 1989 Batman movie. I distinctly remember having a complete set when I was at primary school, specifically because one of my classmates who was moving to America on his last day at school gifted me his entire complete set. So I decided to go and get one. I don't know where my cards are, but eBay's a thing. Let's go find a complete set of 1989 Batman trading cards. That can't be that hard, right? Hello, folks, and welcome back to another video here on the channel. This one specifically a hunt for a childhood collection, the 1989 Batman trading cards. I figured this would be really easy to do because it would just be a case of typing it into eBay and then buying it. I've done that twice over now. It's not as easy as I thought it was going to be. And spoilers, despite buying two complete sets from two different places on eBay, I'm still not entirely sure this is what I intended to get. We're going to try and figure that out now. If you're enjoying this kind of content, though, before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn your notifications on, leave a thumbs up on this video, and let me know down in the comments what was the very first thing you collected in your youth. Did anyone else, is anyone else going to say the 1989 Batman cards? Because if so, that's really, really cool. So, the story of how we've got to this point. I thought this was going to be... Initially, I thought it was going to be a little bit of a challenge to buy a complete set. I assumed they'd be really expensive. And we actually talked about it on stream over on Twitch, um, where I stream most afternoons. You should check me out over there. Not this week, because I'm on holiday as this video comes out. But next week, I was streaming most, most afternoons on Twitch again. You should check me out over there. We talk about all sorts of things while I'm playing Football Manager in the background. But we got to talking about these. And live on stream, I decided to search on eBay how much it would be to buy a complete set of the 1989 Batman trading cards. And it turns out you can get such a thing uh, less than £20. So... Right there and then on stream, I ordered them thinking it was just going to be a big bundle of cards in an elastic band because I remember them as a kid being little packs of cards that came with the, the cards, a stick of horrible gum that was so horrible and dry that it used to snap rather than actually bending and be edible. Um, and you used to get some stickers in the pack as well. You get some cards, a couple of stickers and some gum. That is, I definitely remember the cards and the gum. I think I remember the stickers, but that could be a memory that's been implanted by all the research I've been doing. Um, so I assumed I would just get some loose cards. What I actually got was this box, uh, which arrived. And when I opened it up, I was a little bit confused because I looked inside and we had these four boxes. Now, I've not opened these boxes yet, but on closer inspection, we've got um, set A, set B, set C, set D each with 33 cards in and it tells you on the back of the box what cards are in there and these four packs based on the card numbers that are on the back they do give you the complete set and it's got the copyright dc comics 1989 um these particular ones were made by tops in ireland so they're not presumably they're not us cards um but this is definitely not how they were packaged way back when i did a little bit of research and it looks like these were sold in uh, blister packs where you could buy them as an individual set A, set B, etc. Or you could buy all four of them together and just go and buy the full set. Why they would sell a complete set of trading cards when the whole point of trading cards is to trade them, I do not know. If this was the 80s. It was a simpler time. Um, it takes all the thrill of the chase away. But we're going to open these up very carefully because although they weren't particularly expensive, if they are the original cards, they're going to be... Oh, they're going to be a precious part of my collection once we've put them all in order. Because the great thing about the cards, especially as a kid in the 80s, I was seven in 1989. I don't think I saw the Batman movie because I think I was too young to see it. I've obviously seen it since, but I don't think I saw it. So my entire exposure to the story of the Batman movie was through these trading cards because each card had a picture on one side and on the back, an explanation of what was going on in the story. You can see there, this is card number 80, and then it's got continued on card 81. And if you put them in order, which of course we all did, you could then 
kind of look at the picture, turn the card over, read the card, and get the full story of the movie out of the trading cards, which was really, really cool. We're going to have a look at the cards that we've got in here. I mean, obviously, um, they're not in... Uh, they're not in order at the moment. Let's actually get this a little bit more focused in uh, so we can see what we've got. But these are, I'm pretty sure these are the original cards. They feel old. They smell old. Definitely the back, I definitely remember seeing. The back definitely looks right. I'm pretty sure this isn't a brand new set because, I mean, it, the cards are a little bit warped. But I guess that's just over time that's going to happen anyway. But... I mean, they are pretty, for what, 33-year-old cards, they are pretty, pretty close to mint condition. And they just look really, really cool. I'm not going to take you through all 133 of them. They are all there, though, I think. We're going to try putting them in order. And then telling the story of the movie, so I guess we have to... This is where I'm breaking all the rules. But, you know, to be honest, like I say, this cost about £20. If it was really important to me to keep them in the in the correct boxes and all that kind of stuff, I could buy more. They're readily available on eBay, which makes me question whether or not they are the originals. Why are they so readily available? They must have just been so massively overproduced back in the 80s to be as readily available as they are. But we've got... Got them all there again. We're going to put these in order. One moment while I put the cards in order. So we now have a nice wedge of cards in the correct order. As I was looking through them, some of them were so familiar. I am certain these are the cards that I had back in the 80s. But at the same time, my memory has always been that I had the full set. I don't remember having a wedge of cards that thick. In my mind, they fitted in a... Um, audio cassette case that I'd snapped the little bit that the twiddly bit goes on. We all used to put our cards in, so like a wedge that big, almost as if maybe I had one of these sets and in my stupid seven-year-old mind thought that was the full set and maybe I'd only got like a quarter of the movies worth of story putting them in order. I don't know. It's baffling. But it says quite clearly right on the front um, that it's 132 cards in the set and then you literally go through them in order and it gives you the story and then tells you what to do on the next card. Another reminder to get all 132. So it starts us off introducing us to the characters. So we have the Dark Knight Detective. And it tells us a little bit about Batman. And then Bruce Wayne. And it tells us a little bit about Bruce Wayne. And we literally go through. It introduces the characters. Then once you get through the character introductions, which eventually... Goodness me. Eventually we do. We start the movie. And it just goes through... The story, portrait of a troubled city, stark struggles, creeping shadows, dense, crowded, as if hell had erupted through the sidewalks. I need to get these in a binder so I can appreciate the cards in order and then read through the story in order. Because it is just, it's so cool. I am convinced these are the cards that I had as a kid. There's some cards that are like iconic cards in this set. There's... One in here that I distinctly remember as a kid, probably because I was far too young to have it. It probably happens earlier in the movie, actually. Um, the bit where Joker is next to a, a completely fried up, frazzled head. And it's um, it's on the card. And it's like, my God, I was a seven-year-old and I had this card. What were my parents thinking? <laughs> what they were thinking was they had no idea what was on these cards, I imagine. And they, they hadn't seen the movie They'd have no interest in a, uh, there you go, that card. I remember that card from a kid, from being a kid. I really remember sitting there looking at that, being so fascinated by it. Henchman Bob exits, leaving the Joker alone with the charred corpse of Antoine Rotelli. The Joker, addressing Rotelli's body, your pals, you're, you're not such bad guys. What do you say? Give them a couple of rounds, a couple of days to come around. I mean, it's the whole movie. It is insane. It is the whole movie. So, you know, I look at them and I think, mission accomplished. I wanted the full set of Batman cards that I had as a kid. I think I've now got them. If that's the case, what the hell is this? Because I carried on searching and it turns out that these are US size cards. 
Are these are the ones that I remember. I'm sure these are the ones that I remember. But in the UK, there were apparently UK-sized ones. You can see I've not had these out at all. These have come from a company that specializes in cigarette cards. And again, this is the full set. And I think it's just miniatures of the same cards. And now that's got me thinking. I mean, they are the same cards. Let's just get them all out. That's got me thinking. As a kid, did I have the cigarette card size ones? Or did I have the full size ones? I mean, these are... We'll pull them out. I think they are exactly the same cards. Just miniaturized. I, I don't know. In the 80s, were they still putting cards in cigarettes? That seems insane if they were, but I mean, they're here. I think these are actually already in order, which is what have saved me a job. Yeah, these ones are already in order. So we go back to number one. They're the exact same cards. They're just smaller and really terribly cut. They look like they've been cut by a teacher on a, on a guillotine in a classroom. So which ones did I have? Because these ones feel right in my hand. But my hands are bigger now. I'm not seven anymore. Do those ones feel right? Because these are the ones that I had. A, a full stack of these. I mean, it is, it's the same thickness because they're still made of cardboard. I should have figured that out. But now I really don't know. Did I have cigarette cards? Did I have full cards? I think these ones must have been the ones that came in the packets with the gum. Because I obviously wasn't buying packets of cigarettes to get my cards as a seven-year-old. I remember the gum. I really remember the gum. I think the next thing, and these are also available on eBay, I think the next step in this story is going to be to buy a booster box on eBay and open it up and have a look. And that is going to be a little bit more expensive. But then I get to have the gum, I think, if the gum is in the right one. Plus, of course, the stickers. One thing I've not got here is the stickers. Uh, I, like I say, I, I'm pretty sure these ones came with stickers. I guess these were just insert, inserts in cigarettes. I guess that was still a thing. When did that stop being a thing? I'm now really intrigued about the concept of cigarette cards. I have... Uh, it, what should have just been a quick Google and a quick purchase has set me down a rabbit hole that I probably shouldn't have gone down. Because now, at the very least, I need to get a binder for these... Can you get binders for cards this size? Because I'd quite like to have both sets in a binder. I've got the full set of both sides. I may as well put them in a binder. That's what you do with cards, isn't it? But now I want to get a booster box as well. I want to I want to see a pack. I want to hold a pack in my hands. I want the stickers. I want the gum. <sighs> I should not have started this. This is this is gonna end with me at some kind of antiques fair. A cap, isn't it? A flat cap. What am I becoming? This was so much fun, though. I tell you, if you... I was so surprised at how little it cost to get this massive nostalgia hit. There's something you collected as a kid. Unless, of course, it is, like, a set first edition Pokemon cards, in which case, spoilers, they're quite expensive. But if you're my kind of age, I don't think it would cost as much money as you think to go and get the stuff that you collected as a kid. And, uh finally finish those sets and i am going to uh rather than watching the batman movie i'm just going to sit here for the rest of the evening reading it with my cards because i can because i now own them and that's just really really cool if you have enjoyed this video i know it's been a very different kind of video to the stuff we've been doing on the channel recently if you want to see more stuff like this there are other collections i can explore um i'm thinking um i had a lot of he-man figures turtles figures thundercats figures and they were things I was really into, the Panini sticker albums of the late 80s, early 90s. There were little footballer figures that were around for a while that I had quite a lot of. There's quite a few things I could explore from my youth and try and get old collections back together again. I've got a load of old Hasbro wrestling figures that are in my storage unit. So there is stuff, there's more trips down memory lane we could go on if this kind of thing interests you. But you'd rather me just stick to the modern stuff. Um, I fully realise, although by... When I'm recording this video, they've not arrived yet, but I'm pretty sure by the time you're seeing this, you've already seen the video of the shiny new Batman cards that I've got that are very different from these and have NFTs attached to them and all sorts. But there's room for both on the channel, I think. Let me know down in the comments section. If you have enjoyed it, please leave a thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Thank you very much for watching.